Hi everybody, let's make a whoopee sling that has a tie-off loop close to the hammock. Okay, here we have a gathered end hammock. It has a whoopee sling installed. It has the typical large adjustable loop. It has the berry. But down by the hammock, it has a short loop that is part of the whoopee sling. It gives you a close tie-off point to your hammock. So you can tie your marlin spike hitch or just tie a Beckett hitch or anything else right at your hammock. So if the trees are close, you never have a compromise with the minimum distance of the whoopee sling. And for those of you that already know how to splice, before we get making it, I'm going to give you a visual of what the finished product looks like. So here is, whoa, here is the finished product. Here's the berry of the whoopee sling. Over here is the large adjustable loop. And the end where we normally have a splice loop, we've just folded it. Okay. Here's the fold, uh, inline Brummel right here, and then a splice loop. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it. So we need 12 feet, 14 inches of 764 Sam steel. Uh, one end should be tapered off a little bit, and another end right here should have the thinning done, If like if you're going to do a splice loop. So basically I've just gone back two inches and pulled out two strands and cut them, gone back one inch, pulled out two and cut them. So we're gonna fold this at 14 inches. So there is 14 right here, fold that over. And now we're gonna make our first loop. Now this loop doesn't need to be big because it on it's only going to have the whoopee sling and the other small, small loop going through it. So let's just make a three quarter inch loop. So let's start at one inch because that will give us the three quarter inch loop. So I folded it over at 14 and then at one inch down from that fold on the long strand, I will pull the short strands through. So I'm pulling the short strand through the long strand an inch down from the fold. Okay, and now I'm going to pull the long strand through the short strand just beyond that little splice that we did. We're just doing a lock rumble. So now I've got to pull this long strand through. So capture it in the splicer here. Pull it through. Go all the way through. And there's a little there's a little loop. And so now uh, one more time we're going to go and pull the long or uh, the short strand actually through the long strand. You can actually, right now, you can actually continue this project without doing one more strand through. But I like doing it this way because it locks the two pieces together perfectly. And then it leaves the short strand hanging out. Whoopsie. Hanging out by itself like this. Once you splice this and get it in hand, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so we've created our first loop. We have these inline, these little inline bromo splices right here. So now let's make our second loop. So the second loop we're gonna do on this, this piece right here that's left over. And we want about a two inch loop and about a, a three inch berry, okay? So two plus three equals five, so let's just fold it at five. Right here, fold it at five. Now, all these measurements I'm giving you, you can change them. If you prefer different uh, different berry lengths, just uh, change. But this this is what's worked for me, and it's held up beyond a 1,000 pounds. So at 2 inches, let's pull the short through the long. For this, we're going to use, as before, our little folded stainless wire splicing tool. You can see my braid is coming apart because I've actually spliced this one before. Wow, don't worry about that. Once the braid is inside of the whoopee sling, and a lot of guys have asked me about this, what do I do when the braid comes apart like that? Well, you just continue on and keep splicing. It'll be fine. Because once it's inside of here, it'll get squeezed down. So now we have to pull this whole long piece through that short piece. So let's go with the uh, hook splicer. 
enter the short piece like that and just grab grab that first loop that you made pull it through and now you'll have two strands to pull through just pull that long piece all the way through okay so now you've got locked brummel and now finish this step by burying the little short inside the long now now right here i'm going to stop if you want this little piece that we're making right here to be shorter to, so it can be really close to the end of your hammock right here you can make two more inline brummels and then reduce this berry to as much as even two inches and this and you can effectively shorten this piece up by doing that but for this we're going to use the three inch berry and create it like this so now you're going to enter the long piece down here by by your little short loop go all the way up to your brummel that you just made exit the braid capture the short piece and pull it into the braid okay so now you've got this little dog bone piece that you've created it's like a directional dog bone you change the direction right here you came back with the lock brummel and then you've made this loop and this loop will be installed in the end of your hammock like this with the whoopee sling right here and this loop both pulled through this loop so now let's finish up by making the whoopee sling part so we need effectively an eight inch berry so we're going to measure at nine inches and we're going to start that nine inch measurement from where this big loop that you made meets up with the main long loop and you can move this along here to put the end of the whoopee sling closer to your hammock if you want but this this is a good place to start if you're just making this for for to be installed in most of your wide hammocks that are available so from there we're going to measure nine inches so right there go out to nine because we're going to lose about an inch and i just mark my amp steel with the blunt object i don't use pens and stuff like that this works really good it just leaves a little mark that will disappear once you're done okay so right at our little entry point let's enter with the splicing tool and then we're going to exit at the mark that we just made so right now we're just creating the large adjustable loop of this whoopee sling okay so i've entered the long braid here and i'm going to go find the the last unfinished end of this here it is capture it with my splicing tool and pull it through oh wait wait we're supposed to put a bead on here right i don't recommend using beads um use a high quality a ring like this um beads crack and end up on the forest floor but i'm actually going to use a mini evo loop so right now let's install our mini evo loop our or our uh, high quality plastic ring these don't break they're like acetyl nylon or something beads tend to break after a few uses and they just end up you know garbage so let's pull our unfinished end through our little nine inch part that we just measured now that we got our mini evo loop in there okay so we're through and now we just have this unfinished end so for that we're just going to do a back splice um, about an inch is what we want effectively some people do like two inches but you really don't need it i just do the minimal that is necessary so fold it out about an inch and a half that'll effectively give us an inch and then at about half inches down from where the raw edge here matches up to the main line just enter with the splicing tool like this enter with the splicing tool go up to your fold exit grab the unfinished end and gently pull it through and once it disappears all the way inside of there Sometimes you end up pulling the whole thing inside out. So right now is a good time to get your grasping tool. Grab it right here. Then give it a little pull. 
and you can also use the grasping tool to this part right here smooth it out a little bit so okay so now here is the the tail of the whoopee sling that hangs out here's the large adjustable loop it has a mini evo loop on the tent on the end which is a perfect place to tie a lap knot or becket hitch instead of using a toggle and then the end of the loop we have our little piece right here so now let's install it in the hammock So here is our hammock. So this hammock already has one of these installed and we're gonna we're gonna use this to actually install the new one and you can also use whatever continuous loop that your hammock has in it. So let's start to take this out. So as, you, as I'm taking this apart you can see Here's my whoopee sling right here, and here's that loop that I made, and it's just looped inside of the hammock. So first I'll pull the big splice loop through, then I'll pull the whoopee sling through right here. And since I got a little carabiner right here, I'm just going to use that. You can also use a zip tie or a little piece of string or tape or whatever. But I'm going to use this little carabiner to hook onto my old loop so it can pull the other loop through too. And I'm going to pull it through by the small loop right there. So hook it to the carabiner and pull it through. Okay, just like that. Alright, here we go. And now as you install this into your hammock, the one loop you want to control is this big loop because you don't want it to disappear inside the gathered end. So I'm just going to hold on to that big loop and then pull everything through. So if your hammock has installed continuous loops or whatever, you can use them as a tool to pull your one through. Okay, so now I'm all the way through. There's my little directional loop. Just take my little carabiner off. And now I can finish the install. And all I got to do is take... Remember that little loop that we spliced? Through that loop will go the big loop, and also through that loop will go the main whoopee sling. Since the main whoopee sling has the Evo loop, let's go through there first because it needs a little more room. So pulling the whoopee sling through. This is the same way you would install a, a regular whoopee sling. So if this seems daunting, don't worry about it. It's super easy. So I'm just pulling the whoopee sling all the way through this loop. And then I'm also pulling that loop through. And then once I get it snugged up, I also get the tail through. Don't forget about that. And see now it's installed in the hammock. I have a tie off right off of the hammock. As you can see, this tie off is actually farther away from the hammock than the one I pulled out. So the one I pulled out I actually spliced this one quite a bit smaller. I think I only folded this one at 12 inches. So that initial fold right here, I folded it over at 12. I did a little three brummels, and then that that get, made this part be less. So I have a two inch loop and a three inch berry. And this piece is effectively just six inches long. And this hammock is a single hammock. So this length works pretty good. So there it is installed in the end of the hammock. And as you can see, if I pull the whoopee sling or if I pull this loop, it's it's the same effect. I've been asked before, why not just, for example, say this right here was the end of your whoopee sling. Why not just splice a loop into it and then make that loop really long and then just go through the gathered end twice and then let this loop hang out. Well, the problem with that is if you pull on the loop, it will try to suck the whole whoopee sling through. And if you pull on the whoopee sling, it will try to suck the whole thing through. So if you did that in the gathered end of your hammock, it would fall apart after a couple hangs. So doing it like this works perfectly. Okay, now you know how to make a cool version of the whoopee sling. Basically, you're just making this little dog bone in the end. Um, 
if you like the Eva loop or the universal loop that I make, and you want this loop right here to have a knot for easy on tie or for to use the soft link, one of the things you can do when you're making this, when you do that first fold and you're making that first small loop, you can add a couple inches to your total fold. And what you do when you're making that first loop is make, basically you tie a knot into your piece of am steel. And where that knot is, that can be your first fold. And that will actually create a large knot right here at the end of your little loop. So here in the hammock, here's this tie off loop and you want to have a knot right here that's going to make it work a little better. You can just tie a knot, tie an inline knot of your choice. An overhand knot works pretty good right there. And then what, what you'll have is kind of like a version of my universal loop or Evo loop. And this, this little piece right here with a knot in the end will actually also soft link into things like that. So you actually will have soft link, soft shackle type capability at the end of your hammock. Just put your knot of choice into that, into that loop, into the tie off loop. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.